Hey guys, this is Eric Weingarner with Weingarner Racing. Today's video is a product view video uh, because it's Thursday and I try to put those out on Thursdays. This one just happens to be a very unusual head for me because this is a small block Mopar head. I do actually have flow numbers for this head. Uh, luckily, and I gotta thank Brian from uh, Horsepower Dynamics, I think that's what it is. If I botched that, sorry, Brian. But uh, he let me borrow his top plate so I can actually flow a small block Mopar because I don't have the plates to flow a small block Mopar without Brian. So yeah, I've got flow benches here and another one there, but it takes a special plate to actually attach these Mopars to the flow bench to be able to flow them. So of course I've got small block Chevy and a whole bunch of other stuff, Fords, Gen 3 Hemis, big block Chevys, big block Fords, but I don't have one for the small, I even have 440 Mopar, but I don't have the ones for the small block Mopar. So luckily, Brian let me borrow his so I could flow these. What head is this? Well, this is an Edelbrock Performer RPM, but it's not by them. A customer sent this in and he said, hey, can you flow this for me? This was CNC ported by Hughes. And because of that, I have very little information about it. I didn't go Google and find out all that stuff about it. Uh, but overall, I can give you some of my opinions and it's a very good head. But anyway, this is CNC ported by Hughes. I think he said he called it the Big Mouth, but I'm not 100% certain on that, so don't quote me on that. But I'm gonna show you this and I will give you the flow numbers and we can compare it to how I did with against the trick flow head. So essentially this Performer RPM head, it looks like it's completely CNC'd and they did a really good job. So uh, I don't know if Hughes is doing it in-house or if they have someone they outsource it to, but if you look at the CNC lines here in the chamber, it's a nice transition from the top cut into the chamber. Beautiful work. Here's your blending from the throat to the valve job. Beautiful work there as well. You do see a line right here. This is where the two tool paths meet. So you have one that's cutting this way and then eventually it's gonna come around and be cutting like this way. And that's where those two paths meet. Left a little ridge there, but there's not very much on the short side. So overall, if you're talking about the CNC work, it looks really, really nice. Also, you have to remember this is working with entirely within the Edelbrock casting. So for instance, if you look here, you can see just barely some as cast finish because that's the chamber. Remember, they can only make the chambers bigger. They cannot make them smaller. So that's a really good job. The catch though is if you look at this chamber and I do not know the CCs, I'm sorry about that. I, I didn't wanna spend time doing this since I especially don't do any small block Mopars really. But if you look at this chamber and you compare it to the trick flow CNC chamber, this chamber by far looks bigger. There's no doubt about it. Now, the trick flow one that's here, this is their CNC port of 190cc. This one's got, uh, initially comes with a 202 intake valve. This is a 208, so it's a much bigger intake valve. The exhaust valve on this is 1600, and if you compare it to that to the trick flow, it'd be 1570. So these are much, much larger intake valve, 208 versus a 202, and a much bigger exhaust valve, 1570 versus this 16. But there's other things that make it different as well. Let me try to, doing this all in one take because I don't want to waste time to get some grinding done today. But let me turn off my key light here. Sorry about that. I'll just mess with stuff and ruin the video. There we go. The openings, this is different. So here we have the Edelbrock one. And yeah, it's a big mouth. These are definitely, you've already got a lot of height and it's pretty wide. And matter of fact, I measured the cross-sectional area at the pinch, and I came up with 2.78 cross-sectional area at the pinch, which is a pretty good size because I've complained a lot about the Mopar stuff and the fact that um, Mopars in general, even their 440 stuff, they're really, really tight on the pinch. 278 is enough to support quite a bit of RPMs. It's unfortunate, though, that the rest of the port isn't quite large enough to, I, I would think, support it, so you can look down in here. 208 valve, it's not bad size. It looks like it's got a lot of bowl, it's got a nice short side. The short side is laid back quite a bit. So that part's good. The one thing, so as far as um, minimum cross section, yeah, it's got enough to support the RPM. It looks like it's got enough um, area inside the port as well. What it doesn't have is flow. And I'm gonna show you that. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not. 2.78, you can support quite a bit of RPM. I just wish it would move more air. If you compare that, by the way, just to give you an idea, if you look at the trick flow one here, just to give you an idea you can see how much smaller it is than that. I mean, it's significant. And I measured its cross-sectional area at 2.16. So it's much smaller than this one. So this Elderbrock by Hughes is made for something probably bigger or something that's wanting to turn some RPM and have some fun, right? Uh, but this is this. Remember, I've already done a video on this, in case you want to know. 
And then yes, I'll compare the polynomials, but it's got that wing facing the wrong way. If you look at the Edelbrock, it's got the wing in, in the normal direction. But anyway, let me show you the exhaust port real quick. Because that is also a little different. You've got your exhaust ports. Again, these look much like an Edelbrock, but significantly bigger than the trick flow. So let me show you the trick flow. Trick flow is little bitty tiny dudes compared to these are much, much larger. So it looks like you've got more area on this one, obviously, than you do even on the trick flow. I mean, look at the outer ones. Now, this one doesn't have that. I should point out though, just for reference, not a lot of exhaust flows actually happen at the bottom part of the port. It's mostly at the roof. So even though it looks bigger down here, it's almost wasted area. Anyway, let's get the flow numbers because the reason why you're really watching the video. So here we go. This one is the Hughes head here. And I like to compare 4, 6, and peak. At 400, it's 259. From a 208 intake valve, that's pretty good. That's really good. It's not bad at all. But if you look at six, it's 283. That's not so good. This is what I mean. It's got enough cross section, the, the pinch to support some more RPM, but it doesn't have the flow. 283 at six, it's, it's relatively low. If you notice, it flows the same at four, or, or sorry, five and six. But then it starts climbing after that. And I just smudged my paper. But peak flow, it goes 300 CFM. Exhaust flow is really not bad at all. This is respectable. 186 at four and 232 at peak. Remember this is without an exhaust pipe. But how does this compare to the smaller? Remember this head's much smaller, this trick flow. Well, if you look at it, at four, it does 238 versus the Hughes doing 259. So you can tell this doesn't have near the low lift flow that this thing does. But oddly enough, it has more flow at 600 than the much larger Hughes head. So remember this one did 283. This is doing 305. But, as it goes past that, it drops off and it, I mean, you got a one inch valve lift and we can have that conversation again if you want to put that in the comments. No one's using a one inch valve lift. They are. This tells you how stable the port is. That Hughes one's going 300. This one's actually dropping down to 289. So it's losing as the valve's opening. This tells me that this port's not near as stable as that port. The exhaust flow on the trick flow, because it's smaller, I mean, it's low lift flow is better. Look at, well, no, it's not. It's the Hughes is better everywhere, and it's also a smaller port though on this trick flow though. But that Hughes exhaust port does move more air for sure. The intake intake side, I mean, it's crushing it up to about looks like 600 valve lift, and that's the one spot it looks like that the uh, 600 and 700 where the trick flow is better, even though it's smaller. Now here's what would be interesting. No, I'm not doing a small block Mopar dyno mule, but if I was, this would be an interesting test to test because these actually clearly outflow them at peak versus these. But if I did a 408, I'm gonna tell you right now, this one's gonna make more horsepower and torque. You're like, no, it's not. This one's a smaller runner. It's gonna make more horsepower and torque. No, it won't. This has the size to keep up with it. What's gonna happen though, is say below 4,000 RPM, this trick flow head is going to make more torque than this. But if you're doing peak to peak, so peak torque versus peak torque, this one's still gonna have a little bit more peak torque. We're talking like, maybe five foot pounds more peak torque than this. But the lower RPMs, this will be crushing it by up to 20. Peak power, this thing's gonna beat it, even though you're like, this thing flows more. Because by the time you could take advantage of that airflow, that pinch is too small, and that's where this will start shining. Anyway, that's my opinion, and you're welcome to it. So anyway, Mopar day for you guys, a little short one. Sorry, I don't have more information about the head. But Hughes, you did a good job. I'm glad you're doing Mopars, because I don't wanna do small block Mopar even though I'm porting that one, so we'll see how good that ends up being. Yes, a customer asked me to do it, and I said I'd do it. Nice guy, I don't mind. Luckily, Brian let me borrow his plate so I could flow it before and after. But I've cut this out now to a 2055 intake valve, still keeping the 157 exhaust valve, but gotta do support work on that, and we'll see if I can't get it to really shine. Am I gonna make it as big as this thing? No way, because I don't think I can. I just don't think the casting is gonna allow me to make it wider, because um, this is significantly smaller here than this one and i'm not sure so certain because i'm not familiar with mopars if this wasn't moved over but anyway i'll definitely improve them we'll go from there guys thanks for watching remember i know superman no i do not port cast iron heads you guys take care